Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, so, we're actually gonna, um, before we actually start, I wanted to introduce, uh, SK, my little brother, who is here for the 4th of July weekend. Yes, SK stands for the Solar Knight. For those of you who don't know who I am, those videos aren't out yet, and I don't know when they will be out, but, uh, regardless. Yeah, same thing with, uh, Stacey, where it's like, I have a channel, I just haven't uploaded anything yet. So, we, you might have noticed that we're over at Gobi, uh, Gobi's Valley, and even in, like, the guide I have, it states that you're supposed to go to Freeze Easy Peak next, and that is, that is kind of correct. You have to do it, um, it's mostly in that order, but there's a reason why I'm going to Gobi Desert, um, Gobi's Desert first. Trying to find a better place for your drink? Yeah, out of your way. Yeah. Um, it's actually mostly because of the power up you get inside. The the power up you get in Freeze Easy Peak is not as beneficial in the long scheme of things as the game would like to believe. It's only really useful in uh, in the two worlds. Uh, I just were I was going forward instead of back. So we're actually going to be going to. Uh, this place, uh, as you could tell, it's mostly desert. What? Uh, yeah. Valley. Oh. You need to speak up a little bit better into the microphone, or else it's not really gonna pick you up. Come on. This place looks as green as can be. Oh, there's one thing that's green in here. There he is. Yeah, one more move. Get that right off the bat. Okay. This is Trunker. He's not so shriveling. Oh, that's not good. That, that can't yeah. be healthy. Uh, yeah, he needs water. That's like the last thing we're going to be doing in the level. So these are the running shoes. And it's actually really important that we get these first. Out of everything, i just quickly grab these notes here. Okay, here it is. A mole hill. These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make them run really fast for a limited time. Yep, that's it. Um, just those shoes. Uh, and to show them off, they have this really easy, well, moderately easy jiggy for us to get. First off, we're going to be grabbing the, uh, the notes down there. Yeah, the notes down here first, because you can only really get them with the uh, boots. Yeah, boots. grabber has got a jiggy. Yeah. Oh, uh, whoops. Huh. <laughs> That's the that's the game, by the way. It's not actually a. Uh, it's not the game. It's actually her system. That slow. Bear's too slow. Yeah. We can fix that. We can fix that really easily. Where are they? Okay. I guess the running shoes are all the way back over here. I guess that makes sense. They don't want to make the uh, don't want to make it too easy now. Yeah. So the running shoes make you run incredibly fast.
Got it. I had that for a thousand years. No. Goodbye, hand. Little brat. So, um, so, uh, since you're here, what do you actually remember about Banjo Kazooie as a game? Like, did you have fond memories of it when we were little, or did you not really play it as much? Oh, here's the running shoes. Hmm. Well, uh, I know that I never really beat. Yeah. Meanwhile, like. I played more of, uh, the second game than the first one. That's sad. Almost there. Okay. I have to stop us for a few seconds to, uh... Give us some more anxiety. Yeah. Mm. I was slightly too slow because I got caught on... Piece of geometry at the last second. Ah, uh, yes. I might as well collect a uh, note I missed. Oh, that was a bit weird. This was a timer, right? No. Okay. But I thought that was the one that was on the timer. This one could be. I forget what this one does. Yeah, this is the door down there that has the timer. We got that one. Hey. It's too hot for Gobi. I need some shade. Please help me. Sure. Here's your reward, bear. Or Gobi. Constantly getting screwed over in these games. Kobe goes, but this tree looks a bit thirsty. I don't need all my water for myself. Okay, now. Lovely water. Chunker feels great. Some more things. 
a bit. Um, oh, it sounds like there's still fireworks to go off. Uh, the way that that was uh, chugging right there. Maybe you stepped on the bodies of those who tried to get that. Nah. They're just snakes. Uh, uh, you know, the famous quicksand snakes. Uh, that's all over uh, popular culture, right? Quicksand snakes? Yeah. Uh, when, when I stepped into it, the, uh, the snakes were like, hey, this is our place. Oh, okay. Uh... Jinky, Jinky's nose, come on. I was like, I was like what is that his name again? I was like, oh yeah. For some reason, I always thought the Sphinx was named Gobi. Oh, uh, that that would be, um, you know, it would make a little bit more sense than a camel. Yeah. I mean, it's not like, it's not like that camel's gonna, whoops. Stop doing that game. I need to stop falling. <laughs> you know, I don't think I've actually died in my playthrough yet. That's impressive. I might break that, so that mind. Yeah. I believe this one just goes all the way back down. Oh, I guess not. Ugh. What hand enemies in the, in this game are often times uh rather startling. Normally, there it is. The rings of the ancients. These ancient Egyptian bears. I think uh, they're supposed to be related to Banjo, but I'm not entirely sure the uh, lore of Banjo Kazooie, let's just say.
comes up there. inside the cactus as well. Eh, hey, he's trying to get me. Go away, Hanzela! Yeah, normally we would be able to hit that target up there with the uh, ability we get in Freeze Easy Peak, but again, because we, uh... Um, because we kind of skipped that level. Uh, to go here first so we can get these shoes. Oh, there we go. We'll get that next. Uh, but first... Oh, there it is. I was trying to find where the entrance is. Normally you would need the, uh... Normally you would need to grab the carpet to get here, but I just like skipped it, because... Well, that's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. Goodbye, Gobi. I would say that you'd be missed, but... And he shows up in the next game. He's not really that missed. No, there's a controller freaking out for you. Um... There it is. It only gets slightly irritating. <laughs> well... I had some anger problems that I had to work out. And Dark Souls 2 did not help. There we go. One more thing. Um, normally you would uh, wait till the uh, pyramids fully risen to grab that, but I'm gonna just skip it. Yeah, you sometimes forget how um, weird the camera is in uh... these type these older games. Yeah, because for some reason, um, it just loves to mess with they you. they figured that the camera would be a physical item in the game, and that it would just in moving the thumbstick is moving the camera. Because that's how people thought of it back then. Now it's like, eh, just have like, it just phase through items and just have those items that's phasing through like slightly opaque. Like that's slightly better looking than it getting stuck on every piece of geometry and then like flipping out. I mean, we do get horrors such as um, some some things I cannot think of right now, but we all know those, uh, we all know those. The really bad games? Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, so. Uh. Small platforms, bad camera. Sorry, bad controller. There we go. Oh, that's gonna raise up slightly.
yeah, uh, getting the increased amount of eggs was probably a good idea. Oh gosh, it's an even smaller platform. I don't think the platforms are actually getting smaller. I think it's, uh... Look at that. That platform has gotten smaller. There we go. Okay, what exactly was in this one? This one's the maze, right? Yes, this one's the maze. Um... I guess that was useless. <laughs> that was annoying. Oh well. Uh. There we go. So I guess that's uh, it for this episode. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.